Hi everyone, it's Christy. This is our Shabby Chic French collection journal. Um, the collection is by G. Kerr, Happiness and Crafting on Etsy. And I just wanted to show you where we are and then we will get to some altered paper clips today. Um, this cover we did together. Um, I will add this video to a playlist so that if you're just jumping on now you can click on the playlist and see everything we've done together but this is a 9 by 12 envelope wrapped in one of the a uh, couple of well actually two on the outside two on the inside papers from the collection and then I've, I've we've got the pages together um, there's six designer pages there's some miscellaneous pages there's some envelopes, there's some graph paper, uh, doily, um, in fact the doily will be in the middle. There's uh, uh, music paper. Um, I did go ahead and I sewed a, a zigzag around the whole entire cover, as you can see. Um, but that's all I'm going to do until we're finished and then the last thing I'll do, I, I might put a plate on it or just some pearls or or something I'm not sure what I want to do I'll probably do a seam binding closure maybe with some um, eyelets I, I reserve the right to change my mind <laughs> I am woman after all uh, so anyway that's where we are oh I have sewn uh, different um, trims onto uh, the designer pages um, alternated with uh, one that was kind of symmetrical and then another one that was a one-sided um, edging. Very similar to the one that I uh, get at Dollar Tree or used to get at Dollar Tree but um, a little narrower. And I will tell you, this is for you Leslie, I found three rolls of Dollar Tree crochet trim. I love that stuff. And they do not have it any longer on their website, so I can't even order it. Um, so I'm going to have to just make do. And I, did, I say I'm running out, but I have two bins of lace. But, you know, you, you go to certain things. So anyway, that's where we are with this book this journal. So what I want to do today, and I hope you can see it, let me let me pull this, well, let me get a sheet of paper. That way you can um, see better, probably. I want to make these, um, these are altered paper clips. Um, this is a horizontal one, is a vertical one. Um, and then these two tiny ones. I got these well, the inspiration for these came from uh, Yvonne Preston on YouTube. She has a video that is called, what is it called? Pockets, Tuck Spots, and Altered Paper Clips, Embellishments for Junk Journal. And it's from about a year ago, but I love everything in that video. Um, and these are just some of the ideas and using G's gorgeous papers, um, you can't go wrong. So I am using this uh, diamond wrap from, um, yeah, that must be from Dollar Tree. And I'm using some cheesecloth. I buy this on Amazon. Um, it's a little tighter weave than the one I used to buy, but it works. And these butterflies, I believe, are also from Dollar Tree. And then some pearls I have from Walmart. Um, so that's what we're going to work on today, making a set of these. Um, so fun. And easy. And, and, you know, the whole point of Shabby Chic... I was reading a book one time when I when we bought this house. Um, I've just cut these um, pieces out from the ephemera that comes with uh, the collection by G. Kerr. Uh, anyway, I'm going to use a quarter inch on the small ones and a half inch on the big ones for corner rounding. Uh, when we first bought our house, I decided to go um, 
French country um, with my decor. And I soon found out that French country is not necessarily my style. Uh, shabby chic is not necessarily my decorative style because I don't think my husband could tolerate it well. But, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, shabby chic, when I was reading about it, is basically, you know, the rich people would have their little summer homes and they would have these either a cabin or a place by the beach and they would use all of their discards to decorate it. Um, it didn't matter. It was the summer and they were just there for fun and they didn't have to impress anybody. So um, they would take and they would uh, the old discarded furniture and they would paint it um, and pretty much it was anything goes. So that's basically what shabby chic is. And you can see, I'm just using different things. I've got pearls here. Um, anything goes. And I believe, you know, sometimes you say less is more. Well, in shabby chic, more is more. But more is hard for me sometimes. So I love when I see everybody's stuff. But see, that's why these kits, um, this digital kit in particular, is so awesome. Because... Um, G's already done the, the hard part in, in uh, making these papers. They're just gorgeous, so they're very shabby already. And all I'm doing is just adding a few things. So my job is easy. So I'm just going to ink around these. And I'm probably going to ink the back side as well because... Um, Although these will be on a page, it will somewhat show. So um, I'm just going to do a little bit just around the edges because we're going to attach that paper clip and another piece of um, card to the back. So I hope everybody is doing well, um, not going stir crazy. Um, my husband is still working. He's an essential. Um, he's an RN. Um, my daughter is still working part-time, just a few hours a week, and like 10, 10 to 12 hours a week, so not much. And then um, the rest of us are here trying to keep busy. Um, we've downloaded a game called Animal Crossing. If you haven't played that, <laughs> it is so fun. Even, I mean, it's not just for kids. I have a blast playing that game. And, uh, we all sit in the living room together. Sorry, I'm trying to find some card. Hang on, I'm going to be right back. Sorry about that. I thought I had everything together. I am going to go ahead and round these these corners. I find that when you're taking uh, these on and off your page, it's a little bit easier when the corners are rounded. Anyway, I was talking about Animal Crossing. My kids pre-ordered it months ago. Um, and I've got grown kids. But this is a game that we play together. You can have like eight games. It's, it's for the Switch, um, the Wii. We had it on the Wii, and now it's on the Switch. But you all go in and make a town and, you know, build it, basically. Um, but it, it's just a, a fun entertainment for us. So uh, we've been playing it for years. My mom plays it. My nephew and my sister play it. And we can visit each other's towns, even though we're separated right now. Um, they live on the other, well, not on the other side of town, but they live about nine miles away from us. So, um, but we can visit their town. They can visit our town now and hang out together online. It's kind of fun. Something different. Okay, so let's take, um, I need... I'm using the smaller paper clips. Um, that's just my personal preference. I find that I can 
get it on the page a little easier. Um, one of these is horizontal, one is vertical. Make sure I have it the right way up. So many times I don't. Yeah. So that's what I want to do. These are pretty much um, square. So let's see, I need one for each. And so this one being horizontal, I'm going to do it horizontal. And then this one will be vertical. But before we attach those, that's going to be the last thing we do. Let's decorate them. So I have these, this pin I think I showed you the other day. This is Fabric Fusion. <laughs> Let's start over. Aline's Original Fabric Fusion Permanent Fabric Adhesive. This is very similar to Glossy Accents. So this is what I've been using to put the... Let me see what I did before. Um, this is what I've been using to put the accents on with. So um, it will, you know, come out quickly if you, you know, if you squeeze too hard. But I'm just not going to squeeze so hard. Just wait for it till I can see it, and then, and it takes a little longer to. Um, to dry like the glossy accents, but what's it, once it's on there, it it uh, it holds really well. So I'm using that. All right. So where's my? Let's trim some of these. And uh, if you haven't used this um, diamond wrap, you want to trim these pieces off. Let's see. I, I need four. One, two, three, four. Don't try to trim them down when it's just a little piece in your hand <laughs> because it's really hard. I'm going to take off these two, the strip of the, because I'm just going to use um, three on each. So take off this first piece. But uh, as far as trimming them down, what I mean is you have these little hairs here. It's easier when you have something to hold on to to get those. I'm going to do that over here so it doesn't get all over everything. Um, it's easier to trim them when you are got a bigger piece to hold on to. Okay, put this one down. And now you see what I mean? Look, that's why I haven't trimmed this nail. I can hold on to it. See how I can't get close to get those pieces off, and then I gotta turn it around. Probably be easier if I had a smaller pair of scissors. Probably need to pull out my micro tips for this. Okay, anyway, we got it done. So I'm gonna stick that one on there. And this one on here. Now, see, it already looks kicked up. I mean, you know, you could leave it there if you want less. But why should we have less? Let's add more. So I'm going to take um, a couple pieces of cheesecloth, and I'm just going to pull them apart just diagonally and stick that on the corner like that, just kind of overlapping it. Actually, I think I want that on the bigger one. On the little ones, I'm going to put a smaller piece. So let's move these down. And pulling this, I'm just, I've got about a, what is that, one and a half inch square, and I'm just pulling it apart diagonally. So we'll stick that there. It kind of almost looks like 
a little angel fish or something. And I'm overlapping them there. Now I haven't put any glue on there because I'm going to glue them down with the butterfly. And I am going to use the, um, the fabric glue pen. Whoa! See, that's what happens when you, <laughs> when you squeeze too much. And I'm just going to tack that down like that. Do this one. And I think that looks so cute, just like that. Piece of cheesecloth, a butterfly, and some bling. Easy peasy. So let's move those up there. And let's work on this one. I must have a little bit of glue on my finger. Alright, so this one, I'm going to take just one piece, and I'm going to kind of pull it apart. Just kind of wiggle it a little bit. Um, if it doesn't want to work one way, then kind of turn it the other way. They have... Uh, has some little you can see the little bits start to separate in the middle okay it's not cooperating so I'm just gonna cut it <laughs> so basically what I'm gonna do is just take this and pull it diagonally until it gets kind of like that there we go so pull it diagonally one way and then pull it diagonally up the other way and it just kind of comes apart like so okay and on this one and if it comes apart like that you know just stack it over in fact I'll go ahead and do that I didn't do it on the last one but this one I worked too hard trying to get it apart so it's loose yeah so we're gonna glue that one down with these pearls I still have this this is a great project for using up scraps from other projects um, I'm going to use these large pearls. They're sticky enough to stick to me, but not sticky enough to not glue down on top of the cheesecloth. So I'm just going to add a little bit. There. And then that will be sufficient to hold that. Because that glue will go right through the cheesecloth onto the card. Okay, and it doesn't even matter if some stuff sticks to it because it's all going together like that. And hold that down for a second. This should stay better because it's sticky on the back. The butterflies are not sticky backed, um, but the sticky on the back of these pearls will hold it down until it dries, whereas the butterflies are uh, need some time probably leave those overnight before I handle them too much okay and then we're just gonna glue the back pieces on so I'm just gonna make sure this is centered on here and you know what I'm gonna use my um, beacon three in one because it sets quicker tip cleared up and just put some glue here in the middle I go around the um, around the outside around the paper clip and then just fill in and what I'm loving about this is that it it just attaches almost instantly when I was doing this with the tacky glue I had to hold it or clip it to get it to stay together so I'm just going to somewhat center that, and bam, it's attached. Isn't that cute? I just love these. And I will link Yvonne's um, video below, as usual. Um, she has the links on her channel of all the people that were inspired, um, that inspired her video. And uh, several people, you know, Patricia Veramontes, and because I think she's got pockets and stuff on there. So um, she has all the links on her video. 
Um, but I saw her video, so I'm linking her. Because I just love her stuff. There we go. So has everyone seen Frozen 2? That's the one I want to watch next. We have um, Disney Plus, and of course the day that it was um, available, my kids watched it after I went to bed. So I was like, you guys watched it without me? We'll watch it again, Mom. It was really good. They actually think um, Frozen 2 was better than Frozen 1. I don't know why, so, because I haven't seen it, <laughs> but I am going to watch it, and, uh, and then I'll know, but yeah, they, they said they would gladly watch it again with me. Oops. Oh, man. I think I'll let that dry before I try to get it off. Although it might not come off. Oh, nothing's on there. Okay. There we go. I'm trying to... Oh, I put it on the wrong way. Shoot. Well, guess what? That's a side slider. Okay. No mistakes. Happy accidents. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Now, that's one of the um, downsides of having a glue that sticks immediately. Did you guys all see that before I did? <laughs> that's okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, I just love these. I just love, love, love these. And some of these pieces are going to fall off um, after, you know, because they're just barely holding on. But that's okay. We, um, I think most of this will probably stay. There's some few pieces straggling. But some of this will come off because, you know, it's just got the tiny pearl on there. But it'll work. So I hope you guys like those. I think they turned out really cool. I am, I'm just really excited about these. So, I, um, yeah, those are just, those are just so cool. And, um, that's on our checklist. Um, if you haven't gotten the checklist, you can download it from my Facebook page. Um, we've got quite a growing group on there. I'm so excited. You can actually have conversations with people. Um, I also have a poll on on my Facebook page, my Facebook group, it is a private group. You'll have to ask to get in. Just answer a couple questions, nothing too difficult. Um, but you can get the checklist there. I've got some cutting guides there and, and some other freebies. Um, the um, But the checklist is four on a page, something like this. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just be checking off things that, that I want to... To make for this so I'm gonna count these as flip overs and clusters because I'm not going to be making flip overs on this one and so where's my pencil I will be checking clips and flips or because I'm not sure or you know I don't know I might count it as a cluster it doesn't really matter this is just a guide I don't stick to this perfectly and every journal I always find something else that I want to make um, that's similar um, to something else you know there are certain things that I include in every journal but then again the next one might be different so you never know anyway oh I started talking about the poll oh I'm getting sidetracked today um, the poll is for my next project um, so right now I, I have a, a little golden book on there I have uh, a tattered journal on there and what was the other one a ring bound journal um that one's inspired by g kerr 
Um, in fact, she used this kit to make her ring bound journal and then she has another one that she did last year that was a, a, using a different kit. But um, on the tattered uh, journal um, is, a, uh, is inspired by Jackie over at Crafty Pantaloons. She does some fun stuff over on her channel. And then the little golden book, well, you know, I have several people asking me for little golden books. Um, so I have a few to choose from. So if that one wins, I think it's only ahead by one vote. I haven't checked this morning, but yesterday it was only ahead by one vote. So if you want to go over there and, uh, check which one you're, you would like to see, I'll be doing all three. It's just which one comes up next. So anyway, I'm rambling on and on. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.